Hi there, I'm Lisa Rana, and thanks for joining me for a quick Assemble This video. I'm super excited to be sharing how this card came together. Just with some simple stamping using one stamp set, you can create this pretty tree background for a wonderful supportive card for a friend. I am featuring the Beautiful Things Change Stamp Set from Unity Stamp Company. It has just a bunch of trees and tree tops that you can mix and match, plus some really beautiful supportive sentiments. I have all my stamps ready to go here, and I'm just collecting a bunch of different stamping blocks to make my stamping process a little bit easier. You don't have to have uh, each stamp on a different block. If you don't have that available, you can do them one by one. But again, I just wanted to have everything ready and set to go. I have three different colors from Gina K Ink. I'm using Jelly Bean, Fresh Asparagus, and Grass Green. And I'm matching one color per shape of treetop. So this long elongated one is the more darker, I believe, Fresh Asparagus. And then the, the first one I stamped down was Jelly Bean. And then now I'm using the Grass Green for kind of the middle treetop shape. And I'm starting out by building my pattern on my cardstock here. I'm just using some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock, um, just standard stuff. And then I building it in threes. And I want to kind of fill in my paper and have a, a mixture of the different sizes of tree tops. And so I'm starting with the largest and then the the kind of tall wonky one and then the middle size and I'm just filling in my paper so I have a nice even distribution of all the colors and sizes on my card base and now I'm just matching up my trees to their tree tops just trying to decide what shape I want it to go with which tree trunk and I'm using dark chocolate Gina K ink for my tree trunks and matching them again per color so all the the larger blocks are going to have the same tree trunk and the tall skinny ones going to have the same tree trunk and i just filled that all in and set that off to the side now i'm going to stamp my sentiment just on a, a scrap piece of paper here and then i trimmed that down into a long skinny sentiment banner i die cut my background with a stitched rectangle die cut and then I'm just going to glue that directly down onto my card front so super easy I just really like the pattern of the trees I thought it looked like paper so I just wanted to use that whole image and just cover my whole card base with that popped up my sentiment and then finished it off with just a hint of an accent using some Nouveau drops and here is the finished card with our fun tree filled pattern background. I just love the addition of the Nouveau drops for a bit of texture and then just pick your favorite sentiment from the kit or any sentiment that you need for the perfect occasion. I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video. If you have any questions or sweet comment post below. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.